Taurus. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He most certainly is a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, let's dive right in and see exactly what is going on for you, Taurus. Ooh la la, there is definitely an energy here of desiring more in terms of finances, in terms of connections, in terms of um, uh, feeling free. I, I feel like there is a restraint on you right now. I feel like there is a, a resistance on you that is uh, hindering your ability to create. And understand that that is just a uh, construction of the mind. Um, whenever we are in our own heads too much, overthinking, the ego is coming forward, um, uh, rendering us feeling um, like defenseless or we do not have the choice. That is always a belief system in there. Universe wants you to be aware of it because eliminating these limiting beliefs will give you your salvation. It will give you the freedom you're looking for. And it's always a sign whenever we have these particular limiting beliefs. I can't have this. I got so far to go. This doesn't make any sense. I need more. What happens is we just create a lot of stimulation. It's, a, it's an overflow and we end up not doing anything about what we want. We end up not creating at all. We end up staying in the same patterns and cycles. And here's the thing is that the universe is validating for you, Taurus, that there is a new beginning filled with love headed your way. All right. So this has got your name on it and it's a beautiful one. It's a nice big opportunity, a nice big beginning. This is going to come when you, instead of looking around at your circumstances, feeling perhaps maybe a little ungrateful um, because you're reacting to the situation you want to switch that around and remind yourself that you are always creating but to the degree of creation cannot you cannot solve a problem from the same energy that it was created with for instance if you're currently finding yourself single and not in a relationship and you're looking for one, thinking about how you don't have a relationship isn't going to get you a relationship, right? It's not going to attract somebody in. You attract somebody in by focusing on the fact that you, uh, uh, you, you, you focus on your own self-love. You focus on your own self-care because when you love yourself so much, you almost don't feel like you need somebody else. The only reason why we ever feel like we need somebody is because we don't love ourselves and we want someone else to keep us company and, and tell, tell us how much they love us, right? But the thing is, the trick is, is the universe is saying, if you instead flip that perspective and you let yourself know, hey, you know what? I'm going to focus the attention on me. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to develop myself, my mind, my body, my spirit, my connection, my, 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 my avatar. I'm going to focus my energy on being my best self. And I know that being my best self is then going to attract the, my, my partner, the best version of me in the, the in, in, in partner form, right? In the other person's energy, I'm going to attract that right in. However, when we are in an energy of feeling like complacent or feeling a little, a little bit down and, and our, our minds are kind of getting the better of us, it's just the universe's way of saying, or the universe's reminder of saying, Taurus, just switch it up, just switch up the thoughts, switch up your behaviors, switch up the actions you're taking in your life. There's always opportunity for change and there's always opportunity for growth here. And it's just about being mindful of the patterns that we have that may keep us in the same energy that, we, that we're in, right? Because again, we cannot create satisfaction from an energy of dissatisfaction, right? Because like attracts like. The universe, the law of attraction lets us know that we attract into our life what we are feeling. So if we're looking and desiring for more, then we need to be satisfied and content with everything that we have so that that more can flow in because satisfaction will be uh, attracted to satisfaction, right? Happiness is attracted to happiness. Love is attracted to love. And what do we do if we don't love or if we don't have a love in our life? We love ourselves, baby, because that love will attract a, a partner of equal uh, vibration in towards us. And that's what we're looking for, right? 
Same with money. Same with money. If you want more money in your life, you love the money you got. You're so grateful for money. Doesn't matter if you got one dollar and fifty cents. You love that one dollar and fifty cents, okay? And you feel and you cling on to the feeling of what it feels like to have lots of money because the feeling of something is what attracts us in, right? So you feel like you love yourself. That feeling of love will attract in love. You feel that money in your bank account, and that money will flow right into your life, right? You focus on the feeling of it, Taurus. Remember that. Don't focus on the fact that you don't have it. Don't focus on the fact that it hasn't manifested yet. That's not going to get it anywhere near close to you. And there we have it, that two of cups, right? So it's coming. That relationship is coming forward for you. Don't overthink this. Don't let your logical mind come in and try to conceive or conspire about how, where you're going to meet this person and how it's going to happen and any of that stuff. At this time, let all of that go and know that your true strength and your true power comes from the energy that you give to something. It means that you want love, you give off abundant energy and the fact that it's coming, it's coming for you. And in the meantime, you're going to love yourself so strongly that that vibration of love gets emitted all around the world and the perfect person for you is going to walk right in because they're here for you. Focus on the fact that it's yours already. Focus on the fact that the universe will deliver everything that you desire as long as you stay to the true feeling of that. All right. Now, it does look like this person's going to show up some some way, somehow in some type of collaboration, uh, perhaps in a work endeavor, a, get, a gathering, a get together. However, with that three of pentacles there, they are going to show up for you, perhaps even from a third party. So be excited and be eager and be optimistic for where this person may show up for you instead of trying to pinch off your energy source, trying to figure it out, right? The universe has got your how. You want to know how things are going to happen? Perfect. Give it to the universe. The universe has got that covered. That's their part of the co-creation that we are here to experience together. We are all co-creators, right? And so the universe got you covered. All you've got to do is figure out what you want and feel what it feels like to have it. And the universe is like, oh, I see. That's what you want, Taurus. I, I feel you now because the universe is an intentional place based upon feelings, right? If they, whatever we feel, the universe will bring forward to us. If you feel crappy and feel tired and feel ungrateful, universe is going to give you more crappy, tired and ungrateful. You know, that's how it works. So it's really up to us to be responsible for our energy and make sure it's channeled into what we want, into an abundant way. All right. Universe has a plan for you. You don't need to figure this one out. This is a strong message here, I feel like, where, where just to be very mindful of this Taurus is try not to, to, don't come from an energy of trying to figure it out. Again, universe has got you covered, right? Got you covered. Eagle spirit, spirit's got your back right there for you. Now's the time to raise your standards of what you're thinking about, right? Whatever it is that you're thinking about, you've got to look a little bit higher. You got to search a little bit deeper. You've got to be a little more optimistic, okay? Universe is like, Taurus, you got to relax. We got everything you're looking for. We've got them lined up perfectly. We've got all of your desires lined up with a pretty little bow and you're just going to be so excited when they when they show up align yourself with them so they show up sooner than later and that really just means being content and happy with where you are in your life and the things that you do and love yourself put energy into loving yourself put energy into enjoying what you do and how you spend your days and your time and that will set you right into an alignment with your higher self and that aligns you with your desires and that's all there is to it nothing less nothing more focus on that for yourself look at that starfish spirit just validating be open right now because there's a lot of miracles that are evolving and manifesting beyond the veil and no we don't see them but yes we feel them and it's almost like that feeling of them happening it gives us this like this this feeling of almost anxiety in a sense where we feel like we're not going to have it it's almost like we're reciprocated in the opposite way of what's actually happening. What's actually happening is that everything's aligning for you. And all you got to do right now is just embrace what the universe is showing you and embrace what the universe is giving to you. And just at this time, prioritize your energy, prioritize what you're thinking, how you're thinking about something, prioritize how you're spending your time, love what you do, do what you love. Taurus, that's all there is to it. Love your life. You didn't come here to stress, complain, having feel anxiety, be ungrateful. And if that's the emotions that you're feeling, you've got to just take a look at how you're using, utilizing your time and how you're where you're placing your energy again if we focus on the momentum of darkness darkness will come forward negativity 
complaining, aggression, anxiety, right? That's darkness. And there's dark and light to every situation. But if we focus on the light, the abundance, the opportunity, the eagerness, the excitement, the joy, the passion, then the solution for the darkness will always come. The solution for our salvation will always come. We got to stay focused on that light. There's a snowball momentum effect for each each path we decide to choose, each um, energy vibration we, 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 we cling to. And it's always in our benefit no matter what to reach for that light no matter what the scenario is you reach for that light every single time Taurus and you will always be given the path forward all right Taurus I hope you enjoyed your reading I hope there was a message in here for you if there was like share and subscribe I truly appreciate you spirit loves you I love you Taurus and until our next reading keep shining baby